Yo, what's going on guys? Chris Flakes here. Welcome to Scenarios. This is where we're looking at things in the NBA that are never going to happen, but we're just kind of wondering what if. Be sure to like this video guys because next episode, next scenario, we are going to be looking at what would happen if Andrew Wiggins never left Cleveland and if Kevin Love never got traded to Cleveland. So basically if that trade never happened, like would Andrew Wiggins and LeBron James be enough to win the NBA Finals? Um, but for this episode, guys, we are actually looking at a very, very realistic scenario and something that's going to be happening a lot sooner rather than later, and that is going to be Tim Duncan and Miles Ginobili uh, retiring from the San Antonio Spurs. Uh, Tim Duncan, one of, if not the greatest, power forward of all time, um, you know, is definitely going to up there in age. He still puts up great numbers, but eventually Father Time catches up with everybody, and, uh, you know, he's going to have to retire. Then Miles Ginobili, uh, probably the best sixth man of all time, in my opinion. Uh, I know there's been a lot of good ones out there, so I, ap I apologize if there's somebody I'm forgetting about, but I know he's definitely one of the top six men of all time. Um, you know, looking at the team here, guys, we're kind of assuming that, you know, no trades are being made because I can't really predict the future and what moves are going to happen post-Tim Duncan era, so they might bring in some big name, um, but we're just kind of rolling with this season and kind of the players that are already on this team, so... Uh, you know, of course they're not going to be as good because, you know, you get you get Red Maja Nobly and Tim Duncan without any replacements and you're going to be a worse team if that's the fact of the matter. Um, but I'm curious what kind of numbers Kawhi Leonard puts up, you know, because he's already, in my opinion, well, he is currently the best player on their team. Um, so is he really going to take on more of a scoring load? You know, LaMarcus Aldridge, I expect his numbers to go up. Uh, you know, Tony Parker is definitely a really good veteran out there who's uh, been there, done that. So, I don't know. And I'll... Uh, by the way, guys, let me know in the comment section below what other kind of scenario you guys want to see. Um, but let's just get a, go ahead and get the simulation underway. Out in the Western Conference, um, I don't know if I expect this team to make the playoffs. I mean, you do have Kawhi Leonard, but man, I think I feel like without getting some replacement guys, which they would in real life, um, it's going to be very interesting to see how this team would actually do without Tim Duncan and uh, Manu Ginobili. So let's go ahead and simulate through dates. And we, we uh, assume a perfect season, so no sort of uh, injuries or nothing like that. No sort of psychological factors that affect a uh, player's performance, uh, you know, on the court and off the court. And, uh, yeah, it's looking like already a losing record for us. And, you know, early on in the season, that tends to be a good indicator of how your team's going to do for the rest of the season. Although, you know, as chemistry gets built up here, you know, losing guys like that chemistry definitely does take a hit. So, um, you know, early on, the indication is that this team will not make the playoffs. But, like I said... That's totally taken with a grain of salt because, you know, the uh, Spurs management is really good. And I bet you there'd be players lined up to play for a, a guy like Greg Popovic, who's just been uh, one of the best coaches of all time. I mean, he really just is a great coach all around. And, you know, there's talks about him retiring too and Tim Duncan does. I don't know if I see it happening, not to be quite honest. Um, but, you know, I mean, it's definitely plausible. It definitely is possible. But I don't know. So looking at the record, we're uh, yeah we're tenth in the conference right now, fifth in our division. So that's not looking good. Not expecting the playoffs, but uh, no, regardless, still interesting, interesting to see what kind of numbers Kawhi Leonard will put up. Um, but man, I, I kind of wonder what kind of players would the Spurs bring in? Like, you know, they're pretty much set. I mean, they, maybe a good center. I don't know what kind of centers are going to hit the free agency over the next few years. Um, maybe a guy like Marcus Saul. I think he would be a great fit in San Antonio alongside uh, Lamarcus Aldridge. Um, maybe a Tyson Chandler for a few years. I don't really know. Of course, they're always they've always been pretty good at drafting uh, players that are kind of under the radar, so that could be a possibility too. Um, then you look at what Maginoli brings to this team. You know, I'm not really talking enough about him. Um, just really a savvy veteran leader off the bench that can score. To, you know, get to the basket, get his teammates involved, and do things like that. And uh, you know, that's gone too with him retiring. And we got a few games left here. Looks like we, okay, I was going to say, we, we might be able to squeeze into the eighth spot, but it's not looking very possible now. Um, we're in ninth currently, so, you know, it's going to be very, very close. We might make the playoffs. Okay, now we're 10th again, so it's not looking like it. Um, but it makes sense, man. It really does, you know, just without the replacements needed. Or, or you know, like the replacements that would happen after these guys retire. Because, you know, that's a lot of money freed up. And uh, Kevin Durant, MVP. Emmanuel Moutier, sixth man. Josh Smith. Blah, okay, Anthony Davis, Defense Player of the Year, CJ McCollum, Most Improved Player, and Billy Diamond, Coach of the Year, okay, and uh, I wonder if we're going to see any Spurs on here at all, maybe, maybe a Kawhi Leonard possibly, but there's so many good small forwards in this league, so many good forwards, like it's hard to be like that top, you know, to that top guy, you only see LeBron James on the list here, and uh, yeah, LeBron James, all defense first, but I don't see any sort of, uh, okay, Kawhi Leonard, all defense second, that makes sense. Very good. In my opinion, probably the best defensive small forward in the league right now. 
Um, yeah, so, okay, so the San Antonio Spurs, their rookie center, uh, Boban Marjanovic, I don't know much about him. If you're a Spurs fan, maybe you do. Um, he did get the starting spot, so he actually did get rookie second team, so he might be a good solution for them going forward, too. Who really knows? Um, let's go ahead, though. We did not make playoffs, so no sense in, you know, looking at it here. Um, let's go to the standings and the uh, stats. Look at the player stats. So Kawhi Leonard averaged about 18 points a game, um, nine rebounds, you know, a few assists, a few steals and a block, you know. Um, so real, in all reality, what I'm looking at here is nobody really stepped up all that much. They kind of put up the same exact stats they put up with Tim Duncan and with Miles Ginobili, uh, with the exception of, you know, the uh, bench probably increasing their load a little bit more here. You know, a guy like Patty Mills gets a lot more shots off the bench now. Uh, Danny Green, you know, he's their starter, but... Uh, Really, he didn't, you know, 10, 11 points. Three-point percentage is not very good. I don't know what happened to this guy. He was a really good three-point shooter. It's, it's just, just been down the drain lately. Um, here's the rookie that kind of took over that spot for Tim Duncan as the starting center. Um, some decent numbers. 8.7 rebounds. Not bad for a rookie. Block a game. That's pretty good. Uh, but, yeah, just looking up and down the list here, you know, the uh, the Red Rock and Matt, Matt, Matt Bonner here got a point three points. So, you know, good for him, I guess. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, kind of interesting, though. Very interesting indeed. Um, like I said, I don't expect them to take that far of a step back with Kawhi Leonard, who's only, what, 24 years old. This guy's only going to keep on getting better and better. Um, Marcus Aldridge is only 30 years old, you know, so I don't think Spurs fans have a lot to worry about. Um, Tim Duncan definitely is an irreplaceable guy in the locker room. He's just, there's nobody else like him out there, Maja Nobly, uh, skill-wise, you know, very good player too. But I think this team has a lot to offer going forward. I think there's a lot of opportunity for that window to open at least you know the tim duncan window might close but a new one will open and the Kawhi leonard era is going to be a very good one i think i definitely see him winning a championship um i don't know when i don't know how many years it'll take maybe this year actually with tim duncan so we'll kind of see about that but thank you all so much for watching let me know in the comment section below what kind of scenarios you guys want to see and like i said thank you all so much for watching and peace out my friends